Good morning, good evening, good night. Welcome to the Dear Love Podcast. You can catch us at iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, Podbean, Listen Notes, Google Music, all that good stuff. You already know how this go. Let's get right into it. What a week for me. I've been in my, uh, how can I say, trying to get back into my, my movie bag. I used to be big on watching like a whole bunch of movies probably hmm, not too long ago, but I kind of fell off, man. Movies just started to seem, I don't know, crazy. I guess you got to look for for certain ones now that, that'll catch your eye because that's how I ended up getting back into it. Like, I'm going to just, for now on, go see stuff that catch me. Instead of being like a, a impulse movie watcher where I just got to see every type of movie that come out. Because that's actually how I used to be. I had to see them all. But the crazy part about that is movies ain't even the same. So when I was going to see them all, I was spending a lot of money. And it wasn't until I stopped going to the movies so much. What Well, I think it came about when I stopped going, but... I went with my mom one time, and she had some type of Regal Cinemas card. I'm like, so they make cards for the movies now? And I guess you get, like, offers on special things. You get certain stuff off. So I guess you could say the movies is uh, a very lucrative business. <laughs> I've seen a lot of them around the city closed down, so I just can't understand, though. But, again... Going back into the movie bag, I'm, I was just seeing whatever came out. So now it seems like they starting to do a lot of remakes of the movies that came out when we were growing up. Like, I see they remaking Chucky. So I'm like, uh, yeah. I don't think I want to see another Chucky. Now, in the preview, they didn't show his face. That kind of got me skeptical about how that's going to look, honestly. Because, I mean, you can't redo Child's Play, man. I mean, it was a classic. And then I see they redoing Aladdin. Now, I'm a super huge Aladdin fan, but Will Smith is getting a lot of backlash off of the whole being the genie thing. I mean, he looks mm, not so great. I mean, they made it a huge deal when he first announced that he was going to be genie. So, they, of course, they waited to the end of the trailer to actually show him. And when they showed him, I was like, uh, me no like, no, <laughs> but I, I really, I really wasn't feeling the whole genie swag for Will Smith. It just didn't fit him. I, I didn't really appreciate it, but whatever. But, uh, what else did I see that they was remaking? Um, now I could be wrong. I know the Pet Cemetery was like books and stuff, but I, I wanted to say they was coming out with another Children of the Corn. I can't really remember, but. Come on, we know movies recycle just like music recycles. It just seems like the wrong time to be doing that. Maybe the creative juices have ran out. And it's like, you charging us full price. But then I can't really be mad because we do the same thing with shoes. They just come back out. So, I mean, what can you really do about it? All right. Enough about the type of movies I'm going to see. So... We all know the real reason why guys go to the movies. I wasn't really a big movie head until a woman was, or should I say a girl that I was interested in. That's like the perfect date, right? Like, take a girl to the movies. It just seems, it, it even sounds great. Like, where are you going? Oh, I'm going to the movies with my girl. It's just a, I don't know. It, it, I can't put words on it. But it sounds a lot better than I'm going to chill. You know, the movies kind of signified a perfect date. If it wasn't like going out to eat, it had to be go to the movies. Dear Love, episode 49. Now, who hasn't met a secret date at the movies before? And what I mean by secret date is, you know, you talk on the phone with somebody. You always want to meet in a place where there's a lot of people. And there's a rule to that I'm starting to notice. Because when I was younger... I went through this a lot, and I watch people go through this a lot. So the whole, you know, meet somebody on the phone, you guys never seen each other or anything like that. Y'all getting to know each other. And then you say, well, let's meet somewhere. 
if you notice, it's always a couple places. Never like on a regular, let's meet to eat somewhere. It's always meet at the mall or meet at the movies. And I never understood that, but now that I think about it, that's kind of a, a smart thing to do. It's like, okay, I'm going to meet you at the movies because if I think you're ugly, I could just keep walking. Or it's so many people in here, you know what I mean? Maybe I can get the, you know, I want to be the first person to catch you. So it's like, oh, what you going to be wearing? And back then, it was a time when we were doing things like that. It kind of was before the cell phones. It was like you kind of got to go to the pay phone. So you see the girl, oh, I'm right here. Or, oh, I just did this, I just did that. It was like kind of hard to meet up with them. So it was a couple times where, I, you know, I met some people and I, you know, maybe they didn't like me either. But, you know, we kind of just met up. And you and if you notice, they never come by themselves. It's always three or four friends with them. And if you notice, the friends always do all of the talking. Oh, my friend think you cute or... Oh, my friend think you ugly. Then they get there doing that dumb giggling shit and walking off. And it's like, bitch, I done caught the bus up here. I know we ain't about to play this whole game like this. Like, all right, man, I, I went through that a couple times. I, I don't know. Then let's say you get past that stage and you actually make it to the movies. Then you got the whole little cold spell of afraid to say something to the person. It's like we did all this talking on the phone and getting to know each other. And then when we see each other, it's like we don't even know each other all over again. It's like we just hit the restart button or something. But the hardest part is over now. You've met the person. You guys actually like each other. The friends gave them the nod to say that it's okay. So you slowly walk towards the concession stand. Now listen, this is where the getting out of hand part becomes a little out of hand because who pays for the stuff? Now, I know usually people will say, oh, well, you pay your own way. Yeah, that sounds great, but you know how me and Naro, I feel like I got to foot the bill or I feel like I got to pay something, but uh-uh. Like, she got all her friends and shit. Like, what, what are we doing? Like, we need to sit down and come up with a game plan because, for one, the movies ain't even like the highlight of our little situation. We only met at the movies because this was like a a good meeting place. Because nine times out of ten, you're going to go see the movie and not even watch the shit. So now you really just wasted money. So in a sense, we kind of just paid this money to kind of talk, honestly. So I'm the type of guy I have no problem paying but I have a big problem with popcorn costing $10. I mean, really, though? Really? $10 for a small? I think it was like a medium or something. Like, how can we charge so much for popcorn? And why does the movie theater have those large-ass cups that nobody else has? And, of course, she wants the largest cup that the guys have. But I take it like a man and pay for it and... All of that. All of that's cool. Like Again, I have no problem. I just think the stuff is a little overpriced, but I'll pay it. No problem. But at the same time, don't act a damn fool when we get in this movie theater. I, again, I don't mind doing anything. So we get into the movie theater. For one, all the, like, the entourage part is over. That was to make sure that we liked each other and that we were going to be okay. But now that we're okay, the entourage can kind of like go back to their corners or go back to their cages, wherever the hell they were stationed at, and let us go on about our day. So we go in there, we watch the movie, we chilling, we talking, and we actually do end up watching the movie because both of us are so uh, nervous to talk. And it's like, why? Kind of like an awkward situation, I guess. Nobody really wants to speak. So when the movie finally ends and everybody's leaving, that's when the awkward mode kicks in again because it's like, where do we go from here? Who calls who first when they leave this uh this movie theater? Or do we go somewhere from here? Sometimes people go on that first date at the movies and then they just stop talking after that and they never go back to it. That's why I also learned that the movie you decide to watch, even though you're probably not going to watch it, is very important. Always watch something scary. 
You want her to feel protected when she sit next to you. You want her to always have that jacket. You know how they put the jacket over both of y'all, that type of shit. But you want her to always be scared and jump into your arms. You can kind of say like, yeah, I got her now. But people, I remember so many times I went, people did the wrong thing. We got niggas sneaking in Hot Pockets and all type of shit. And we always went to the movies as a group. Like if I knew what I knew now, I wouldn't have always went as a group and everybody getting kicked out and all that dumb shit. But then you always had the one group that was just into bullshit. They throwing popcorn up top. They just acting a fool. I remember I went with someone one day. And in the same row as us, not too far down, it was a guy getting hit. Now, you know, the first thing that go through our brain is, uh, <laughs> shit, she got the right idea. What are you doing? Like, you need to be doing the same shit. It's, I couldn't believe that somebody was actually that close to us doing that. And again, we're watching a, a scary movie, so you know it has these times where it's like real, real quiet. And she just like sucking away and and everybody just looking. It's like no shame in her game. It's like, damn, these niggas is just cut different now. It's like she don't even care who watching. She don't care about nothing. But I love the movies. And like I said, I'm trying to get back into my movie bag because I feel like it's a lot of movies that I want to see. And now that I'm a little bit older, the movies mean a little bit. Like, they, they don't hit me the same. It's a little bit different. I think I'm more prone to pay attention now. Because before, I didn't really, again, I didn't really care, especially if I was going with some type of female. I had one goal in mind, and that was to do my thing. But with the price of the movies being higher than it used to be and everything else, it makes you just want to sneak food and shit in and don't even get nothing from the spot. But if you're going to go... You need to really watch that damn movie and see what it's about. And it's sad because now when I purchase the tickets, it's nobody at the ticket thing. Like, that check it when you go to the movies and stuff. It's like they never there. Now, let me not get a ticket one day. They're going to be coming right in there and hauling my ass out the door in handcuffs. So I just figure it ain't really worth that. So I'll just continue to do what I've been doing. But I always remember that. Back in the day, growing up, those movie dates, man, or meeting those women there. And like I said, that's the first stage, meeting them there and hoping that they like you. And then you can go spend all your money on them. Then you can go in and then you can see where that where that takes you. I just be thinking, like, imagine if we had Uber back then. How much easier life would be to get to the movies or had a person Uber to you or just meet in different places. But again, the movie theater isn't what it used to be due to streaming and stuff like that. So just a, a old jewel that I'll always miss going to the movies with somebody and it actually meaning something. You know, you had your rated R movies and your PG-13 movies. and just a, It's just different, you know, watching a movie at home and watching a movie at a theater is two totally different things. But I think I'll start watching it at home to save some money. <laughs> Dear love, T. Shaw, I'm out of here.